property. Hello, everybody. What up, what up? So today we are going to install our sliding glass door. And we're doing it ourselves. We don't have any help. It's kind of high on this side of the container and we have to install the door from the outside. So. Should be fun. Should be fun. So the first thing that he's doing is just double checking everything. You can see we already have the frame, obviously. Um, we've kind of framed out the majority of the house. Um, he already cut the steel tubing. So he's just double checking his measurements because we got a new door, making sure everything fits correctly, and then he's going to start cutting out the steel. So what happened and how do we fix it? Uh, it's about half an inch too narrow, so I just took that beam back out and I gotta cut it a little bit more or grind it, I'm not sure yet. Well, I guess since he has to cut a little bit more and it's pretty cold and it's getting pretty dark so I can't see anything. visibility is pretty hard I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a night but I get it tomorrow yes so see y'all in the morning hello well, lighting well, is bad hold on how do we adjust that's better what up what up so he just took the tarp down Oh, I guess we're just gonna get right to it. So he's going to work. finish up the framing, which is, he's pretty much just tack welding it in place. So here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hmm. The hole isn't big enough. That's what she said. What? Summer remain. <laughs> oh well. Do you wanna say hi, Josh? Hello, how's it going? <laughs> he brought his dogs out here. He, he bought them coats, they're very cute. Last night we realized that the hole that he cut for the door, even though we double and triple checked it, things happen, it's not large enough. So he's hopping up on the ladder to see if he needs to cut it or grind it, but he's thinking he's gonna have to cut it. I'm gonna let the sun shine in today. At least it was too small. I'm trying to make this big. darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my way. People talking, the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Like things 
things are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke. And I will try to fix what has been broken. What's the consensus? Tiny bit off on the bottom. Job is the is the getter. Will you give me mine? Will you give me mine? It's a very valuable job, though. Everybody should have themselves a getter. If you're the getter in your relationship, don't think that your job isn't important. How important is the getter's job? Very. Can I have the <laughs> the tool for that? Yes, you can. Again. That's why you tack weld and then measure again. That way you can pull it back off if you need to, rather than welding it the whole way. I have a lot of grinding to do. Oh, Today is a very bittersweet day. We closed on this property a year ago today and where we could be down on ourselves and negative in the fact that we are nowhere near where we thought we would be. We thought we would at least have, you know, insulation and drywall up and fire inspection and getting on the verge of moving in. We're nowhere near that. And we could beat ourselves up, but we also just kind of have to remember the hand that was dealt to us. and crazy neighbors, crazy neighbors trespassing and getting in the way of getting our permits, commissioners illegally withholding our permits, lawyers, just everything that happened. But honestly, it has made us so much stronger. Our relationship, our mindset, our mental health. We are the most stressed out we've ever been in our lives, yet the happiest we've ever been in our lives. God, I hate myself for crying. Eh, ignore. You know, coming out here, we did our fair share of research. Um, we didn't come out here blindly not knowing what we were doing. We spent months researching and planning and budgeting. However, it's not like we've ever done this before. So it was just kind of on a whim. And you know, a lot of people doubted us. A lot of family members doubted us. A lot of friends doubted us, but that's okay. And while our neighbors have proven to be a constant pain in the buttocks, without them being psycho and harassing us, unfortunately we would not have had support online that we did. When I first posted on TikTok the crazy neighbor stuff, it didn't get a lot of views. The very first video I posted, it didn't get a lot of views. And I actually found out through a police report, they reported that video and the police were like, there's nothing that we can do about it. We didn't really tell a whole lot of people about our crazy neighbor stuff, maybe because we were slightly embarrassed that here we are another setback, but mostly because we just felt defeated. We didn't want to talk about it. We didn't know what to do. And so when it just progressively kept getting worse and worse, he was just like, do it. Just, just post it all. Just post it all. We don't, at this point, we don't, we don't know what else to do. So posting everything online was just kind of a, a last resort like we don't know what else to do we are stuck we cannot build we put all of our money all of our savings into this and we are literally stuck 
We felt defeated. We were angry. We were fighting. It was just hell, overall hell. And we just took it to TikTok. And the support that we received online, I can't even, I can't even begin to show my appreciation and I can't even put into words how incredibly thankful we are. So while as unfortunate as things unfolded, I really don't think we would either have it any other way. It brought us, like I said, this community online that is just so supportive and only wants to help and constantly gives us new ideas and advice. And y'all have proven time and time again that there are good people out there. There are people that support what we're doing and support sustainable living and support just wanting to be free and independent from society. And that just kind of helps us stay focused on the goal. So thank y'all. Also, I just want to take a second because this guy right here, man, he makes it happen. Anything that I want, he makes it happen. Never in my life at 23 years old did I think that we would be living on this gorgeous property, building a house, we don't have a lot of money. The main reason we sold our house in Texas was to get out of debt and be able to live a debt-free life. That was the end-all be-all goal and he makes it happen time and time again. He is strong and determined. I've never met somebody who works harder than him, minus my dad, but that's a whole nother story. My dad is works crazy hours and travels and my father was an amazing role model growing up and definitely set, set the foundation for what I sought after in a partner. And gosh, and Cody just, I'm very lucky. We'll just kind of leave it at that. I'm done being sappy. No more of that. I will stop the tears, but the leaves are starting to fall and you can kind of see more of the property now. So he's kind of taking a break for a second, it seems like. So let's. Let's take a look at this beautiful land. I know that you are having a hard time right now. That everything seems to crumble around you. I know that you feel all alone in this world. But you have to put your trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you I know that you are having trouble Anyways, again, thank you for the support, guys. We honestly would not be anywhere near as far as we are without y'all because y'all are the people who got the county commissioner to come to his senses and stop withholding our permits illegally and handing them over. And without that monumental step, we would not be building. So thank you. I can't express my gratitude. So back to our regularly scheduled programming.
So we got the hardware installed to the sliding glass door. Oh, did you lock it? There we go. Oh goodness. Okay, so sliding glass door's done. Cody is finally, oh, I thought the handle was done. Cody's finally putting together this tiny mini grill that I got him at a garage sale like so long ago, just cause he doesn't want to use the bigger grill, but Josh just got here again, so we're going to grill burgers and have a bonfire and then call it a night. I did a poll on my Instagram asking if y'all liked the longer videos or if you wanted me to shorten them out and do two videos a week. Um, so I think that's what we're going to start doing. So hopefully another video very soon. So see y'all then. Bye guys. Bye. <sighs> this is the cutest mini grill. It's the wind blowing in your head.